Right, now for the tricky bit, which is the pastry, something I have never done before. I'm going to clear these items away so that you get a better view of me messing this up. Or will I? Let's be confident, because I'm using ready-made, shop-bought, short-crust pastry. The important thing to remember about pastry, this is the most important thing I'm going to tell you, is that you don't want to heat it up. Remember that pastry is really just flour, fat and a bit of salt. If you warm the fats up, the molecular structure of the thing changes and it will become either very, very hard or very, very lumpy. We're going to make pie squared in two halves, so we divide this piece of pastry in two. Nikki, Hello? Hello. Do you mind awfully just keeping an eye on me while I do this? Yes. OK, would you like a beer, by the way? Please. I need to get a glass, though. Thank you very much. Mystery hand comes in. It's Betty's hand. OK. Um, right, now I'm going to turn that into a ball and then roll it out flat, handling it as little as possible. Nikki has worked with someone called Paul Hollywood. She's trying to be patient with me. Oh, I'm going to say bollocks. I know I'm not supposed to, but there you go, I've said it. And failing. You're desperate to take that off me and do it. You're, oh, yeah, you're I exactly, stand over here. No, you're exactly like I am when I'm watching somebody incompetently use a screwdriver. Finally, my feigned incompetence pays off. Nikki's is, is, is a reasonably uniform shape. Mine is... Uh, scrappy. And she's full of handy chef hints. Pick it up on the rolling pin like this, if it helps. Yes. I'm going to do that. Let's pretend you didn't tell me that. And okay. Now, you can pick this up with the rolling pin like this. That gives you a convenient way to hold it, and then you can... Whatevs. That'll do, comes the cry of the perfectionist. It's time to fill this pie. Ooh, this is plenty of filling. This is, this That's good, because really it'll nice. pile up beautifully. If it weren't for Nicky, this pie would turn out a bit half-baked. But you need to cook the pastry through and make sure you haven't got a soggy bottom. Yeah, I have had it for a while, actually. I'm in my 50s, so... <laughs> OK, here we go. This is incredibly exciting. It's slightly lumpy, but that doesn't, matter. doesn't matter, does it? It's a pie, it just goes in your face. You now need to trim it. So, I've seen this done. So you pick it up and then you slice your own fingers off as you go around the edge with your knife, is that correct? That's right. So you just keep your knife tight so. to the pan. This is my first pie, remember. I will never again be a person who has never cooked a pie. Once I've cooked this pie, I am a person who has cooked a pie. And now we can... Can you remember which half is which? Because I can't... Yes, that's, that's the potato half and that's the chicken half. Nicky leaves me to come up with a design for the lid of the pie. Ball. So I decide to decorate it in the shape of my favourite aeroplane. Hawker Hurricane, the aircraft that won the Battle of Britain, despite what people think and imagine it's the Spitfire, it was the Hawker Hurricane, which accounted for at least two-thirds of all enemy losses during that fateful summer of 1940. I soon realise that, like Goering, I've miscalculated. I've ballsed up because I haven't allowed for the wingspan of the Hawker Hurricane. Plan B, a more modest design. I carve a C for the chicken half. There's my C for chicken which is that half. And a V for the vegetarians. <gasps> oh, horse's ass! I've actually carved the letter V into Nicky's worktop. How am I going to explain that? Well, I really have. You can feel it. <sighs> what if I... You're making it worse. I'm not making it worse. You can do this. Just talk amongst yourselves. It's OK, I know about woodwork. Soon this blemish will have completely disappeared. You're not going to mock in a minute, because what I will now do... Is there anything you want to say to me? Why have you carved a V <laughs> It's simply not there anymore. It's gone. Apart from when you look at it like that. For more content from me, click one of these links and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And why are you all so obsessed with me saying cheese?